to my YouTube channel. So what did you all think of the new YouTube intro I have on my videos? And I've also uploaded a new logo and a new channel trailer as well. So make sure to go check them all out because I worked so hard to make them happen. So today I am doing my first, well, I guess kind of second collab video. I have done a collab video before with latest free stuff. So this is my second collaboration video. I have to be really like careful with this top because like it's beautiful. It's got like a nice little like frilly bit, but it keeps like, whenever I move my arms, I just, oh, you know when there's just, you just feel restrained in a top. This is, this is that. Like I love the top, it's from Boohoo actually. And it was like 15 pound, it was really cheap, but seriously, I just can't be lifting anything or like going past here. So yeah. <laughs> Probably the worst top to do for a opening video. Right, so top aside, um, I'm doing a collaboration video with one of my good friends, Amber Howe. So I will link her um, down below, like her channel, and also she'll be doing an unboxing of the parcel I sent her as well. So check that out if you wanna see what I sent her. Um, but I will be showing you what I got. So basically we decided, we've been friends for a couple of months now, and literally the way we became friends is so incredible, like, you'll probably agree when life just throws people together and like great friendships come out of it like it's really magical so I absolutely love this girl to pieces she's so lovely so kind and she supports me like we've been helping each other a lot recently and yeah she's just a fantastic human being like her parents have done well well done and I know they watch my videos as well because she told me and I got all embarrassed yeah basically like Amber's such a lovely girl and she just deserves the best in life and yeah so we decided that we wanted to do a video together so basically yeah she lives like hundreds of miles away from me and we wanted to do a collaboration video but we were like hmm what can we do like we live so far away and she is actually planning to come down next month so that would be awesome we'll do some videos together and there could be a great chance to finally meet her but um oh yeah there's also thunderstorms going on outside i picked the best time to film so if you hear like loads of rumbling that's that's a thunderstorm okay so um we decided that we wanted to send each other like a little care package thing so we put together like a package for each other of what we thought each other would love and we had a budget of like 15 pounds. So I stuck to this budget and like smashed the budget by like getting stuff free and like, you know, like couponing it and getting it cheap. And then when I said to like, cause we showed each other a picture of what we'd got before we sent it. Cause I was like, oh no, I'm like dreading that I haven't got enough or like she's like spoiled me and then I'm gonna like an idiot. So we kind of sent a picture each like a picture to each other of what we had got, but wrapped up obviously. And then she, there was just tons. And I was like, whoa, what have you done? And I was like, we set a 15 pound budget. And she was like, yeah, I don't stick to budgets. And I just literally, I thought, what's the, does anyone else just hate that? You set a budget and then the other person just doesn't stick to it and makes you feel really like shit. So, <laughs> so I was like, don't, oh. So I was really apprehensive of what she was gonna send me now because I just feel, like I stuck to the budget. There was a budget for a good reason. And yeah, so we had a 15 pound budget, which apparently hasn't been stuck to. So at least on my video, like on her channel, you'll know there was a 15 pound budget, but um, she sent me a massive, massive parcel. I can't like, okay, I'm gonna have to cover that. It's massive, it's as big as, it's just as big as me really. Um, so I'm so happy to finally have this and be able to unbox it because it's been sat here and I've been itching to open it, but I can't because I want to open it on camera. So now I can finally open it and I can show you what's inside and I'm just so excited, I love presents. It's like my birthday. Right, I don't even know how the best way to open this is. Oh, and the funniest thing is we literally planned this like three weeks ago now. And um, when she sent me this final picture of what she got, I was like, oh my God, you wrapped it and labeled it? Like, that's really thoughtful. Like, mine's just a bit of tissue paper. Like, it made me feel really bad. And she was like, yeah, you said we should like wrap and label it. I was like, I really don't remember saying that, but like labeling stuff, like that's crazy. I wouldn't have recommended that, but so now I just felt awful. So these are like all wrapped and labeled, which I'm so proud of, but. I just feel so embarrassed now at the parcel I sent her. Okay, so we've got quite a lot in here. And we've got Christmas wrapping paper, it looks like as well. Right, so this label says skin treat. So these are so coolly wrapped. Like, I really feel awful for not wrapping my stuff. Ooh, Dove, 
Purely pampering, nourishing body oil. Wow, I have, I didn't even know Dove did body oil, but that sounds right on my street. And this is pistachio cream and magnolia. So I'm guessing it's gonna sound, sound? I'm guessing it's gonna smell floral. Oh, it does, it does smell floral. This sounds so good. So smooth on our light touch oil for deeply nourished skin. I will certainly give that a go. I didn't even know they did it. Right, the next one, tone up. I need a, to tone up. Not my face though, just my body, but I don't think this will tone my body, sadly. Oh, I love unwrapping stuff. Urban Veda Natural Skin Care Turmeric and Botanics Radiance Hydrating Toner. So I actually got sent some stuff by Urban Veda before. I think it was in a beauty box. I remember he hearing this brand in a beauty box before. So it's kind of like a weird kind of like brownie colour. That scares me. I don't know why. I don't know why the colour or something would scare me, but it just does. And this smells really like clinical, which isn't a bad thing always, but I'm excited to try it because I use the Lizelle toner at the moment. So it'll be interesting to compare, see if it's any better, see if I can, you know, like find a better product. So thank you for that. So um, I've been suggesting to Anna do a three day, three day? Three step skincare routine twice daily because she doesn't and it angers me that she doesn't because she's just damaging her skin. So you always need to cleanse, tone and moisturise guys, you always need to. Nail it is the next one. Oh, this is just so good, I love this wrapping paper, I think she said it was from Lush. Models own, so we've got a lovely blue sparkly colour which is, I love blue and I love sparkles. So Amber knows me so well, love that, thank you so much. Okay the next one says lips, so I guess that's quite self explanatory. Oh my god, and <laughs> it's all nudes. Oh, nudes, I wonder why she would send me nudes. Right, so the first one is Burt's Bees Lip Crayon, and that is a lovely pinky corally colour. I love Burt's Bees, and I love lip crayons, actually. I've really started getting into, like, liquid, um, or, like, lipstick, lip glosses, whatever they call them, matte lip gloss lipsticks. So, yeah, like, a lip crayon would be really nice to try, and it's a really nice colour, and you could never have enough lipsticks and lip liners because you just go through them so quickly so thank you for that I will try that I didn't even know Burt's Bees did makeup to be honest right the next one is oh I hope the lighting doesn't go um apocalypse so Rimmel London apocalypse this looks like a lipstick lip gloss matte what I'm on about <laughs> and it's a very corally kind of like orangey color I probably would use this, but I'd probably do it when I have a bit more of a tan because I think it's a little bit orangey for my pale skin. And then the last one in that little thing is a Rimmel lipstick. It's a really nice pale pink lipstick. So this one's more of a pinky nude, but again, I ain't gonna complain. I love nudes and I love pinks. Hello? Yeah, I was just in the middle of filming a YouTube video. Sorry about that. That was my dad asking me to look what the England and Wales football score was. Thanks dad, thanks for that. Ruining my flow. And it is, the thunder is getting so much worse outside. Right, so we have a Rimmel London pink lipstick, which is Lush. It's in the shade 200 and it is Rosetto, I think the color is. Be Your Selfie is the next one. I love that. Be Your Selfie. I wish I wrote little notes on mine now. Mine's gonna look so crap. This is from Opia. Oh, I think this is, um. Yeah, this is the Primark thing. I saw this on your channel, Amber, as well, when you went to Primark. It's basically a really nice necklace which says selfie on it, which is really cute. And it actually probably would go quite nicely with this top as well. So I love that, thank you. Sweet treat. So I think I know what this one is just because we were talking about it. So I hope they've lasted through the Royal Mail. They're Monty Bojangles, um, Truffles, that's the word I was looking for, truffles. So Amber featured these on her YouTube channel and she said about the chocolate orange ones and I was just hooked. I was like, I need the chocolate orange ones. So she's like, okay, I'll put a few in your parcel. We've got lots of different colors. I'm gonna eat them later. Next one for a summer glow. We've got a 17 instant glow gold bronze shimmer brick. Brick, what? Why am I saying it like that? Okay, I actually has one of these. And I think, oh, what company was it from? I think it might have been Revlon and it's literally identical. So that's fantastic to have like another one of this because when my other one runs out, I've got a spare. So thank you for that. It's literally identical. And I swear it's Revlon, the one I've got. So it's obviously more expensive than 17. Oh, there was a note in it and I haven't even read it. 
That always happens. So I always get to the bottom and then find the note. To Emma, I hope you love everything I've sent you. I just wanted to say how great you are and how much I value our friendship. I love you girl almost as much as pizza. And we both know how much I love pizza. Here's to years of friendship, love Amber. That is like literally so cute. I love pizza and I love Amber. Oh, that is so cute. I'm gonna keep that. I have a little memory box of stuff. So I'm gonna put that in there because that's really cute. Okay, food fingers. That worries me. <laughs> What food and fingers? Oh, oh my god! No way! Literally, I have been lusting over these nails for ages, and I was like, "There's no way I could pull these off. Like, surely I can't wear these. It's too much." But obviously, Amber just read my mind. I haven't even mentioned this to her, but they're basically the House of Holland nails, which have like food on them. So you've got pizza, hot dogs, fries, burgers, popcorn, and Coke on there. So yeah, I was like, oh my God, there's no way I'll ever rock them. Like I'll look like an idiot if I wore them, but they are awesome. And I wanted them for ages. So thank you so much, Amber. Like that just proves how like in tuned we are with one another because how crazy that she well i know that she knows i love junk food so it's probably a dead set that i'd like nails with it on but that's just crazy i love them thank you so much because you missed out i think i know what this is i've just i think i know because i was complaining about this it is oh i just know i just know these things okay so me and amber keep sending each other Oh no! Me and Amber keep sending each other so post freebies. So if you follow our pages or like just money saving pages in general or freebie pages, you'll know that so post is a great website full of freebies and basically you send them to one another and claim them. So I was complaining how I'd missed the Nest Cafe one because someone sent me one and it just wouldn't let me claim it, but I could send it to everyone else. So I was really upset that I never got one. So I told Amber this. We were discussing freebies we'd had in the past and I was like, oh, I missed out on that. So she did say she got two. So she sent me the mug, but sadly it's got a big chip in it now. It's obviously got damaged in the post, which is shit. But I'm still gonna attempt to drink out of this. I just won't be able to like, Put it in the dishwasher probably but thank you for this because now i have my nest cafe mug next one is one of your holy grail products wow i don't even think i've used the word holy grail but i will now that sounds wicked right i just don't think i was meant to film today my holy grail product let's crack on i have to change my sd card because my sd card's like decided not to work as well so that's another thing ah Oh, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. It is Liz Earl's Cleanse and Polish. Of course, this is my Holy Grail product. I use this every day, I swear by it. Literally, if I could only use one beauty product ever again, it would be this because it's just so freaking good. So if you haven't tried Liz Earl and you're looking for a good cleanser, definitely, definitely try Cleanse and Tone, Cleanse and Polish, not Cleanse and Tone, because it is just fabulous. Burn me, PS, my fave. So I'm guessing she means that her fave. So I'm guessing it's gonna be a candle. Yankee candle, candy cane lanes. This is actually a Christmas one. So there is no way I'm burning this before Christmas just because I, don't, I can't be in a Christmas mood in June. I just can't, it doesn't happen. So thank you for that. I will save that for Christmas. Pamper yourself is the next one. I'm loving this wrapping paper. I think it's Victoria's Secret. It's got little VSs on it. Green tea sheet mask well she knows i love green tea and peppermint tea so that's probably why she's popped that in there for me mask but i've never heard of these guys before and it helps to minimize the appearance of dark spots and various pigmentation irregularities for a more even complexion well that was a mouthful green tea is fabulous for your skin so there is certainly nothing bad that can come from trying this so i can't wait to try that as well because it's always nice to pamper yourself ombre hair don't care love it um Yes, I'm ombre, I guess we have gathered that. I'm actually balayage, balayage, not balayage. Like, what the hell is a balayage? I'm a balayage. Oh no, she didn't. My favorite hair care brand. So she has sent me very kindly some Mark Hill stuff, which I absolutely love and she knows I love. So we have Mark Hill Tussled Wave Spray, at least textured waves that last. 
That would be really interesting to see because I do curl my hair with my GHDs, but it would be nice to have some like natural wave sometime, but I just, I'm not very talented with it. So at least this gives me an excuse to at least try and tussle my hair and make it look all like beach wavy. So I'm excited to try that, thank you. Next is the styling primer. I think I tried this one before. So this is what you put in after you've shampooed your hair and you're gonna blow dry your hair and it just, it leaves it feeling amazing. And last one is Wonder Spray 10 in 1 Ultimate Multi Purpose Styling Product for Prep, Style, and Finish. Includes protection, volume, and hold. Fab. Gonna use this probably as a hairspray just because I have run out of hairspray, so. Okay, next one is Get Fruity. Right, it is original source skin quench and it is packed with neutralizing natural oils and instant body moisture in instant moisturizing body lotion. I did not know instant source did body moisturizer. What? And it's pineapple and mor 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 moringa oil? Oh, that smells lush. That actually smells lush. And it is vegan friendly as well, if you're a vegan. So I am so excited to try that. And another great thing about like exchanging stuff with people from different locations of the, of the country is like she lives in a massive city whereas i live in quite a small town so it like she gets probably all the new amazing products in her stores whereas i get all the small things so that's amazing to be able to try that because i generally have never seen that before and it looks fab i can't wait and it just smells so good okay second from last oh don't don't positive thinking law of attraction live by this so Amber's been incredible with my little spiritual journey. Like, I get that like my friends have to put up a lot of me being like, hey, I'm like studying the law of attraction now. Like, yeah, positive thinking, quotes, boom, boom. Like, Amber's been an absolute gem and I think it's helped her as well with me like showing how much positivity does come into my life and, you know, just making everybody feel happy and positive because that's important. So I'm so excited to see this because it's so sweet of her to include that because it just shows how that she like is a really good friend. Oh, today is going to be a good day. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you, Amber. Of course it's gonna be a good day. Every day is a good day. Okay, and the last one. Trust me to film the one day and the hour and minute that there is a freaking thunderstorm. Right. Handmade with love for Emma. What? Oh, don't. Don't even. Oh my God. Oh. That is so cute. I'm actually gonna cry. Oh, don't. I'm actually crying. That is so sweet. Oh, she's actually, <laughs> she don't even know why I'm crying. I actually don't even know. Oh, it's because it's so sweet. Oh, don't. She's literally put together like all my favorite quotes, like, motivational quotes happy quotes everything she's literally like handmade this that's incredible hands up my my parcel is shit compared to this like that is so beautiful i absolutely love it oh, how creative is amber i'm so, i feel so uncreative so as you can tell that was like absolutely perfect like, I absolutely love everything in there. Like, there's so much stuff and it's just so thoughtful and so just pretty. Thank you so much to Amber for sending me that lovely, lovely, lovely parcel. It is beyond perfect. Um, I will link Amber's video down below on her channel for you guys to go check out. But she's an amazing human, as you can see. Like, being so thoughtful to me. So I'm so happy and I just I feel really emotional today. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching my unboxing video. I know this has been a bit of a long one, but you know, let me know if you stay till the end in the comments below. I will see you in my next video next week. I have got an exciting video coming along. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you've had to put through all the thunder and lightning and all the other emotions that have gone through this video, just like me. Subscribe if you're new here. I'd love to see you again. I promise my videos aren't all just me crying through thunderstorms and having phone calls. And I will see you in my next video next week. Love.